Welcome to another video, The One Good Road here. So today I have a very interesting setup for you which I hope I can explain real quick. Basically I'm going to show you how you can boost your solar generator, so like a mini portable power station. I'm going to show you how you can boost that by sometimes two, three and even up to four times its capacity if you follow these easy steps. Now I had a offer from a company by the name of Red Odeo that sent me out a battery to test and to share my opinion on on the channel and I was I said definitely I, I'm really keen to check out the battery and I think it's an excellent value for money there will be affiliate links down below if you want to support the channel for no extra cost when you want to if, if you'd like to make a purchase for looking at the battery and I've only used the battery for a small amount of time but it's really cool and I'm really looking forward to hopefully connecting it up to an MPPT charge controller um, that way I can charge it basically for free and extend my battery solar system even further than what I currently have right now. So essentially what this system is, is you basically wire up a battery like the one on the right. So you've got this 12 volt, 100 amp hour, which Red Odeo do a bunch of different batteries. I've done a, a first impressions and I'll do a long term review after a month of use. Essentially you take a battery like that, it's a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery, you wire it up to with these little eyelets that you place on the bolts um, to connect you basically connect this ca special cable which connects up to the the battery it's, and on the end of that cable you've got a female uh, car plug adapter basically um, and then essentially your solar generator normally comes with a car plug to a DC barrel connector and sometimes they come with different ones like I've had to order an XT61 for my Fossibot, which will come in the mail at some point. But just as a demonstration, I'm going to show you uh, on screen that you can you can charge. You, I'll, I'm going to give you an idea roughly of the charge times, and I'll explain to you how that can fluctuate. So essentially, you you wire up this special cable, which you can find on Amazon for like as little as ten bucks. If you look hard enough, you can maybe find it cheaper on AliExpress. You plug in your existing cable that you might already have or you either order another one which is only another five or ten bucks. It's really not a lot of money. Um, and then you're able to send the power from the 12 volt 100 amp hour battery, so 1200 watt hours of power roughly, and that flows into your solar generator thereby extending its capacity. Now I did some math and essentially the Vevor little battery I've got which is just under 300 watt hours and I'm pretty sure it's a little bit under that when you use the AC power it's probably like more like 280 something like that 280 watt hours of power um, it's still doing a decent job but it's not the new life lipo 4 battery chemistry it's the old one but it still does the job I mean I can still use it it's still got an inverter on it it's still usable USB plugs now essentially you send the power into it now for me i'm only getting about 80 watts transferring from the 1200 watt hour battery the, the red odio to the vevor battery the solar generator but you can boost this if you'd like now one way i've researched a little bit online so if you put a voltage booster in between the battery the cabling and then obviously to the, the charge input you can effectively boost the charge rate even faster. So it's essentially kind of like a solar panel. It's kind of similar. Now you don't want to go over the amperage. Not recommended on these very small little uh, charge controllers built into the uh, solar generators. But you can go quite high, I suppose, on the voltage as long as you don't. So for example, on the Vevor, you can put 24 volts into it. And I believe that is the maximum that it can take, I think. Um, I have to double check that. And on my Fossy bot, I can actually go up to about 50 volts. Obviously go a little bit under that. Don't don't run it always at the max. But So essentially, if you can boost the voltage, that's one way to charge a little bit faster. I'd like to experiment with that in the future. But for now, I've only got uh, this cable, this battery, and this solar generator. And I am very curious if you, if for example, you put two batteries, that will boost your voltage in theory. And hopefully that might work with like, for example, my Fossy bot. I'd like to experiment with that maybe in the future. One one of the ideas you can you can check out, and it's DC power, so it's very efficient. You're not using AC power, which has has a higher 
um, amount of power that it needs to convert into AC power. That's pretty much it. There's not much else to say. Um, you just basically buy this special cable, you get this battery, and for as little as something like if you buy a second-hand battery, which is basically like new, um, and still got plenty of capacity left, you can probably spend as little as like 160 to 170 dollars and you can boost your solar generator by something like three or four times its amount so i'm i'm able to boost it by 400 percent uh with the vevor uh, battery and i think for the i can't remember the numbers for the fossi bot but it's something like two times two and a half times i would say of the capacity of this little generator because the the fossi bots 500 watt hours and the vevor is just under 300 it's definitely something worth experimenting with so the idea behind this is that when you've got a cloudy day and you're not getting a lot of power coming onto your your panels you can still charge your solar generator and you're going to boost your your capacity you'll be able to run a fridge i've even plugged a fridge directly into this um plug from the into the the female car plug you can actually do that if you want depending on what unit you use so it's definitely worth experimenting with i will leave links down below in case you're interested in having a look at the battery and looking up how to do this yourself and if you're interested i will leave links down below if you have any questions about the setup uh, leave comments and i'll try and help out and i really hope to be able to do more reviews with red audio and stay tuned for some other videos. I've got like a lot of different solar stuff coming soon. And there's some camping gear that I'm going to do some reviews on. So stay tuned for that. Stay subscribed. And I hope to see you in another video.